communication matrices. Okay, we have a network describing a communication situation where people can talk to each other, and this is the connections between them. And it's important to note there are no arrows here. Um, and that's important because uh, if we have arrows, it changes uh, how we put the values into the matrix. So in this situation, it is perfectly fine for A to B and B to A. That's what that means. All right, let's do this as a matrix. Draw a nice big matrix, like so. And we're going to label it A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Now, this is going to be the send side, and this is going to be the receive side. So if we're going to be sending a message from A to A, it would look like this. And we don't actually have that on the diagram. So we just say no. And then we go A to B, we can do that. So we put a 1. A to C, we can do that. But we can't do A to D, so we put a 0. Let's try the next one. B to, uh, B to A, uh, we can do that. B to B does not exist. There are no loops. As, uh, we call those things. We call them loops. Uh, so we say 0. B to C, we put a 1. And B to D, we put a 1. If we look at the next one, which is C, we can go C to A. We can go C to B. Uh, there's no loop. There's no C to C, so 0. And C to D is also 0. We can't do that. And then our last line. Our last line is there's nothing from D to A. D to B, yes. D to C, no. And D to D, no. So that's the, sum, that's the same information now put into a communication matrix. I'd also like to say that this is what we also call it. This is only a one step because we only did one step on here. And there's a few other things to note. All right. Now, we said there were uh, no arrows. So what you'll notice is if we look along our uh, diagonal here, this is actually a symmetrical matrix because when you have no arrows, they have symmetry. So you can uh, see that uh, this number and this number match or uh, this number and this number match. And it's like you've folded along that yellow slash I've done there. Look, there's another one there. The purple one matches up with the purple one and uh, the orange zero, the orange zero. It all matches up. So that's what we mean. Uh, what that happens when there are uh, no arrows, you get symmetry. Now, the other thing to notice is if we look along this uh, diagonal, um, so all zero means uh, no redundancy. And what does that mean? Well, look, if I had a, a, a wire from A to A, uh, we could have put a one here, right? But that'd be stupid. Why would, why would you make a, like a, a phone network where uh, A can talk to A? Uh, it doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, it's a bit re useless or redundant. So all the zeros on those diagonals mean uh, that you have uh, no redundancy. So as soon as you get a number on that diagonal, you have a redundancy. Now in blue is just that uh, what we did previously. Now that was the uh, one step. Now we're going to do two step. So we'd set up a matrix just as we did before. And we have A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. We have send and we have receive. But this is going to be a two step now. Now, what do we mean by two step? So can you get from A uh, back to A in two steps. Now, if I go A to B and back to A, well, that is two steps, isn't it? What if I went uh, A to C to A? Well, that's two steps and I'm back at A. So there are two ways of doing that. So actually, from A to A, I can put a two. Now, let's go to A to B. Uh, that's one step. But my second step, no, that takes me to C. That's no good. Uh, what about if I go A to B to D, no, can't do that. But if I go A to, uh, A to C to B, that's one way of doing it. So there you go, one step has done it. 
So next one, uh, A to C. Um, well, we can't go straight to C. We could go A to B to C. That is one way of doing it, and that is actually working. And then we could go A to D, and we can do that this time. So we can go A to B to D, um, but that's still one step. Let's try the next row. So B to A, or well, B to C to A, that is two steps. And I think that's the only way of doing it. Um, and we'll prove that in a minute. I mean, you're going to hate me in a minute when I show you how to do this really quickly. Uh, B to B. We can go B to A to B, B to C to B, B to D to B. That's three ways. So we can actually put a three here. Uh, B to C, like that in two steps. So that's one move. There's no other. Um, B to D. Uh, well, uh, can you do that? No, not in not in two steps. So no, can't think of any ways to do that. Um, now, uh, C to A, well, C to B to A. There's one of them like that. It's going to be, uh, I think, uh, symmetrical again because remember, no arrows. Uh, so you can sometimes work these things out. So if you think of the first row is two one one one. Let me highlight that. So if you've got 2111 here, it should be 2111 down there. I mean, that's a 1. That's a cheap way of doing it. And if that's, uh, if this is uh, 1310, then that's going to be 1310. Ah, see, it's a bit like doing a Sudoku sometimes. Um, and we can also then check out what else we need to check out C to C. You can go C to A to C, C to B to C, but that's about it. So that gives me a value of two. C to D in two steps, one, two. Uh, so there's just one of them. And then we can just start filling out the rest of the thing by uh, symmetry again. So uh, I've got one, one, two, one, 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 two, one. And D to D in two steps. Can we go D to D in two steps? Yes, but there's only one way, which is D to B and back to D. So we can write a one there. And that's our two step uh, communication matrix. All right. Uh, now, you you're always going to have to work out exactly what your uh, one step is, but is there a quicker way uh, to get to the two step? Actually, there's a much quicker way to get to the two step. So um, I just put in the uh, matrix that we worked out. That's the one step, and I called it C. So this is this is the one step communication matrix. And if I uh, square it, just as simple is as simple as that. Uh, if you square it, you get the two step, which is uh, this thing on the right here. But uh, I would like to highlight something as well, this part on that diagonal. So there are uh, non zero values on the diagonal. That's the leading diagonal. Uh, so there is some redundancy. So uh, redundant. There are some redundant links there. All right. Remember, if you have zeros uh, here, we got zeros here. So there is no redundancy. But on the two step, we have non zero values on the diagonal. So there's some redundant values there. Now, for some reason, they like to do this thing like t equals c plus c squared. Um, you can easily just pop that into your calculator and get, get those values. Uh, to be honest, it's not really used that much. Uh, it's much more used in dominance matrices, this, this formula. But if they ask you for the total, well, guess what? It's T for total. That's the total. Okay, this is from 2017 exam one. They haven't given us a diagram, but they want us to then work out what the network is and how, what the path we want to follow. And basically the main thing we need to know is uh, we want to send a message from Esther through to Bevan. All right. Lots of words there, but most of it's just describing what a communication matrix is. So 
uh, we got to figure out which is the uh, of the following shows the order of people through which the message is sent. So remember, we're going from sender to receiver. So let's go. Uh, we're going to start with Esther. So we go Esther. Now, if you look at this row here, um, it only can, uh, has one one in it, which means you can only go up. Uh, send, uh, the only person who can receive a message from Esther is C up there. So now we're at C. So we've gone from Esther to uh, we've gone from E to C, which already re removes out uh, option A. Let's look at the next one. Now, if we're at C and we go across here, uh, we can send a message to D or to E. Well, we don't want to send to E because that's going back to where we came. So we want to send a message uh, to D. So now we're at D. So we're going E to C to D. Well, let's have a look at the next one. So now we're at D. Let's highlight D and D can go to A or C, but we don't go to C because it's going backwards. So we're going to go to A. That makes sense. And then uh, now we're at A and we highlight A and hopefully we can get to B. Look, we can go from A to B up there. So now we know it going to B. So it's E, C, D, A, B. The answer must be E. Okay, this is from 2016 exam two. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's just explaining. Also, all this is just explaining um, uh, what the matrices are and about sending and receiving. Um, but we know we've got G, so that's that's your one step. And then you've got G squared, which is your two step communication matrix. All right, um, I'm gonna have to squash this up so I can uh, fit the question on. Now this question says, to whom, lovely uh, archaic language, can Dana send a direct message? Now direct, in this case, uh, just no one in between, it means it's going to be one step. That's our key word. So one step. All right. And so if we look at Dana and we highlight that row, uh, Dana has got a one for the B receiver and one for the E receiver. We can see they're lined up like that. We've got the ones. So our answer must be Ben, not B. It says uh, to whom, give the name, uh, Ben and Elka. Now let's have a look at a bit more interpretation than this second question because it says here that um, Cheng, which is uh, this dude, cannot send directly to Elka. And we know that because that uh, there's a zero there. So we know that's true. So we must be looking maybe then at uh, a two-step problem. And now it does say uh, directly here, but it says write down the names of the employees who can send a message from Cheng to Elka directly. Um, and that means we're going to be looking at the two-step dude over here. And here's Cheng. And this is how you quickly work this out. It, we want looking for ones again, A and D. And I'll do that slowly in a minute to explain why that works. But the answer for this one is clearly going to be A for Amara and Dana. Now, if we go back to the one step, you can imagine uh, if we're at Cheng, we can, we can talk to uh, Amara. And then if we look at Amara, she can talk to, uh, oh, wrong one, to uh, Elka. So uh, we could also have gone via uh, Diana, it says. So if we go into D and then looked at D, D could also talk to E. And that's why you ended up with the ones here and here. Uh, so that one means one two step, not two two steps. So the question is asking like, how many one two steps do you have from C? Does that make sense? I hope so. Anyway, the answer was Amara and Dana. Okay, this is from 2015 exam one. There really aren't that many communication matrices ones, um, but uh, if you look at this, it actually talks about transition matrix, but uh, I think it's better viewed as just calling it what it really is, which is a communication matrix. Uh, may have changed terminology since the previous study design. 
Now this one actually calls itself a transition matrix because if you look, we're going from today, tomorrow. So our direction is this way, like that, um, which is slightly different from what we've done in uh, other communication questions, but really it is um, the same idea. What we're basically looking for is we want something that's going to go in, in the order C, D, I, R, T. So all you've got to check is, can we go from C to D, then D to I, I to R, R to T? So let's start at today, because that's the top. We're going to go uh, from C, can we go to D? Uh, no, there's no one on there, on the corner. Uh, C to D, there's no uh, one there. And C to D, no. C to D, we can do this one. So that one's okay at the moment. And then uh, C to D, we can do it on this one. So, so far it's between E and D. Let's try then going the next step, uh, D to I. So if you go D to I, we can't do it, which means it must be D. So let's just check that D does go to I. Let's make sure we haven't made any funny boo-boos. Let's try uh, uh, next one, which is I to R. We can do I to R. And can we do R to T? R, uh, R to T. We can do that. So that looks like it all works. So the answer for this question was D. But just pay attention to the fact that uh, the labels today and tomorrow meant we went in this direction. Whereas when we normally have uh, send and receive, we've been going this direction. So just pay attention to those labels and the directions. That's probably where most people went wrong on this question.